There are a few things you should know about the latest updates on Cybertruck. These are enough to blow your mind. The long showstopper, Cybertruck, appears to have been delayed to 2022. It was supposed to rock the entire EV and logistic market in 2021 after it's unveiled in 2019. Since Elon Musk has now bought Twitter, it is likely that he's going to create or maybe start promoting Cybertruck on it. Who knows? But we do have millions of eyes on the Cybertruck delivery time. Indeed, Tesla, this time, has created some massive market hype. We can just hope the truck updates can justify the delay. To date, there's nothing in the world that is electric and can help the supply chain industry. That is why people are eagerly waiting for its launch. If this comes up to be perfect, because of the popularity of the electric pickup, the current race to being electric pickup trucks will boom and practically eradicate the manual automobile market. The eye-catching design of the Cybertruck has gotten everyone to talk about it. The exoskeleton is practically impenetrable. The external build of the truck enables it to hold on to the ultimate exterior protection and durability. Every component of the device is made with the motive to provide ultimate passenger protection for superior strength and endurance. From ultra-hard 30x cold-rolled stainless steel structural skin to Tesla armor glass. The structural skin is the cold-rated stainless steel. As per what Tesla has to say, if there was something better, we'd use it. That simply means this one is the best that the market has ever produced. The entire point of using this steel is to eliminate dents, damage, and long-term corrosion with a smooth monochrome exoskeleton that puts the shell on the outside of the car. Not just maximum passenger protection, the entire design is made to look and give the feel of entering the future. Musk is not just pulling out things to sell in the market, he is changing lives, he is building the future with technology. As amazing as it sounds, it does have some downfalls. We'll get to that part. But before that, let's talk about the infamous glass break test. Due to its futuristic improvements in technology and design, Tesla continually makes headlines in the automotive sector. Tesla's newest vehicle, the Cybertruck, is set to go into production in 2021. It'll be one of the hardest trucks on the road, according to the hype. The truck will not only be totally electric, as are other Tesla vehicles, but it will also be very tough, having armor-like components, including the windshield. The Cybertruck's exoskeleton is composed of ultra-hard 30x cold-rolled stainless steel, according to Tesla. Stainless steel is noted for its rust resistance and durability. It's commonly used as hardware in marine conditions, where it can withstand seawater corrosion. Rust marks in the lower quarter panels, cab corners, and bed wheel wells are common on steel body trucks. The stainless steel utilized in the Cybertruck's construction could eliminate the durability difficulties that standard steel body trucks have. Well, sadly, the armored glass broke during the glass break test demonstration on the day of the big reveal. Tesla must have realized that making the doors super strong was pointless unless they matched them with super strong windows. This is a design cue that could have been inspired by traditional vehicle armoring, such as that found on military vehicles and cars used by politicians and other public individuals who require additional protection when traveling. The thing was a sham. According to Elon Musk's later tweet, the glass shattered because the hammer test, which was performed before the glass break test, caused the glass to fail before the metal ball even came into contact with it. Because the glass had previously been broken, it broke readily during the glass break test. No one knows for sure what caused the glass to break during the test, save perhaps those in Tesla's upper ranks, but we do know one thing for sure. We're excited for the Cybertruck to roll off the assembly line so we can see one for ourselves and check out the glass. That was a massive blow to Tesla's reputation and pre-sales. Furthermore, the reason for the delay, as explained by Musk, is modifications and improvisation. That's why the Cybertruck, which was previously thought to be the first to market, is now trailing behind. With the deadline approaching, there have been indicators that the Cybertruck could be delayed during the previous year. To begin with, Tesla just finished the engineering design for the electric pickup truck. Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, also warned that getting the Cybertruck to market would be difficult due to features like the steel exoskeleton body, which necessitates entirely new manufacturing techniques. In March of 2020, Elon Musk tweeted that the company had started to look out for locations in order to build Cybertruck production houses in the central USA. Perhaps the plans didn't quite work out. In May 2020, Electric exclusively reported that Tesla is opening its next factory completely for Cybertruck production in Austin, Texas. 
In July, Tesla secured a tax break for its Gigafactory in Austin. Tesla followed the same timeline when it released its Q2 2021 financial results last month, stating only that Cybertruck manufacturing will begin at Gigafactory Texas following Model Y. The fact that Model Y production was expected to begin at Gigafactory Texas by the end of 2020 doesn't rule out the prospect of Cybertruck production beginning in 2021, but it does make that schedule implausible. Tesla, on the other hand, revealed a few weeks later that the Cybertruck would be postponed until 2023. Musk confirmed that Tesla would not deploy the Cybertruck or any new vehicle in 2022 during the company's most recent financial release in January. When it came to the electric pickup truck, the CEO was cryptic, saying simply that it will hopefully come next year, meaning in 2023. Tesla has been rumored to be intending to begin manufacturing the Cybertruck in early 2023 since then. Musk was asked about Tesla's short-term goals during an event for the start of Model Y deliveries at Gigafactory Berlin. Musk reaffirmed that Tesla's priority for this year is to increase production of current car programs, particularly the Model Y and Model 3, but he also made an unusual mention of Cybertruck. Though being delayed, the changes need to be great. Shall we have a look at them now? There have been some design leaks, though Tesla has been guarded about the Cybertruck. Tesla's much-anticipated truck was recently sighted at the Fremont factory test track in a prototype form. As a result, certain hints were exposed. During a drone flyover of the location, a few new characteristics were discovered. This Cybertruck prototype was seen with some tape that likely includes hidden sensors, in addition to a few design modifications. This suggests that Tesla is performing some Cybertruck calibration testing. The huge single windshield wiper fitted on the driver's side was the most noticeable modification while viewing this latest iteration of the Cybertruck prototype. Since its premiere in 2019, this is the first time a Cybertruck has been seen with a windshield wiper. However, Musk stated that this windshield wiper would not be included in the final model. That is not the production wiper, he said. What bothers me the most is the wiper. There is no simple solution. A deployable wiper that stows in the front trunk would be perfect, but it would be difficult to implement. Looking through the windshield at the dashboard, it appears that the marble design will also not make it to production. This Cybertruck also features functioning side mirrors, unlike the previous Cybertruck prototype. The installation of daytime running lights, or DRLs, to the front fascia appears to be another important alteration. A horizontal light bar had previously been put on the roof. The roof light bar does not appear to be in the works any longer. The length of the Cybertruck's bed appears to have reduced as well. Some Cybertruck detractors worry that the vehicle will be too big to fit in a garage. Tesla may have shaved a few inches off the bed, although this has yet to be confirmed. The doorknobs were also not visible on the most recent prototype. From the beginning, Cybertruck had flushed but visible door handles. Tesla, on the other hand, may have finally gotten rid of them all. Elon Musk stated earlier this year that the production Cybertrucks would not have door handles instead of opening the doors as the owner approaches the vehicle. Elon Musk said of the stainless steel Cybertruck that we could have any color you want, as long as it's nothing. The Cybertruck, on the other hand, may be vinyl covered in any color. So, will the factory offer color options for the Cybertruck? Elon Musk replied, not at first, but there are many third-party options for wrapping. In another tweet, Musk noted about a cool Cybertruck wrap option. Imbued gold bronze color would be sick. Tesla appears to have a massive backlog of more than 1.2 million Cybertruck pre-orders, totaling more than $81 billion. The Cybertruck will be constructed in Giga, Texas, which will be the first and only Tesla plant for a time. In addition, Elon Musk hinted about a new quad motor model. Well, a lot can happen with the new Cybertruck reveal. Now, the only question is, when do we see the Cybertruck? Hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you in our next one.